afternoon, guys. My name is Jerry Miller, and welcome to the I Love Seville Show. It's a pleasure, pleasure, pleasure to connect with you guys through the I Love Seville Network, where we love to celebrate and champion the success of this community. That's what this is all about. We want to be the water cooler of everything Charlottesville and Central Virginia. We work really hard at it, and today's program is undoubtedly going to epitomize that statement. Get ready for a true cast of characters, three people, four people, undoubtedly committed to making this community better. Judah Wickhauer, my friend, if you can go to the studio camera, and then the four shot. I don't even think I have to do introductions anymore, but I will because that's what you do on a talk show. Millie is in the house. Josephine is in the house. Rob is in the house. You know all these people. And we're going to have a recap of the 231 Fest. Josephine, my friend, the show is yours. How special last weekend was. Oh, where do we start? It was so much fun. You were there, which mm -hmm. we appreciate seeing a, a friendly face. We saw a lot of friendly faces. We had about seven to 800 people come out. Um, obviously support the food bank, have a great time, drink some wine, drink some beer, drink some cider, enjoy live music, local vendors. We had over 45 um, local businesses participating this year, so it was huge for us. Lots of community. Epitome of community. 231 Fest, for sure. 231 Fest, an annual excursion and festive outing that, that I think you should put on your calendar literally right now. Rob, I was watching you. You were a busy man, Mr. Popular over there. Okay, You were buzzing like a bee from people to people, and you were doing a hell of a job. Thank I you sincerely mean that. I seriously watched you check in with everybody. I was so impressed. Recap the fest and what you thought truly, truly made it memorable. I think it was the people. I mean, you know, the community came out in, in droves. I mean, we'll, we'll use a bee analogy for that. And uh, they came out in droves. They uh, supported us. I mean, I don't know if we're going, we're not announcing yet. Are we gonna, we're no, gonna no, no, drama. We have to have the. Oh, we're going to build up the We're going to build the yeah. yeah. Okay. No, the community came out um, and supported us uh, vastly. I mean, that's what it all, was all about. I did not see one person that was there that was having a bad time. I mean, usually you. How have, could you? Right. I mean, I, I mean, usually you have like one or two complaints along the way, and there was nothing. I mean, everyone left with a smile on their face. They left very happy. It was, a, I mean, an amazing day for both Castle Hill and for the Boomer Jerry Food Bank. Absolutely. Millie's in the house. I, I kind of kidded with Millie before the show started that I think she has the best job in Central Virginia. Really, now that I think about it, I truly think she does. <laughs> Millie gets to make human connection with a lot of awesome people in this community. Yeah. She is a phenomenal brand ambassador for the Blue Ridge Area Food Thank Bank. You. She likes to go to festivals. She likes live <laughs> music. She loves a local cold drink. Yeah. I mean, you literally had the best job. Yeah. It's not bad, you know. It, there are days that are rougher than others, for sure. Yes. Um, and but no, yeah, the two thirty one. And I loved what um, what Rob said. It was the whole community came out, and that is what it was about, right? It was about celebrating the community out in uh, along the two thirty one corridor. But then, as these great, fantastic people at Castle Hill do, they want to give back to the community and. The Blue Ridge Area Food Bank, we are a community food bank, depending upon the community to make this work. And so it was just a beautiful expression of that that day. Um, Bill McChesney is watching on McIntyre Road. He says, Castle Hill is a primo place. Woo! Literally it, putting it right amen, now in the feed. Absolutely. Bill, thank you. Johnny Ornalis owns El Mariachi in Guadalajara. He's watching the program right now, Seville Weekly. Welcome to the show. All right, I want to build some suspense. Okay. We The whole concept of the two 31 Fest is throw a fantastic party, <laughs> spotlighting great local vendors, great local musicians, great local bands at a memorable, palatial, phenomenal place, Castle Hill. Enjoy cold drinks, which I can't wait to have this one right here, while raising money for the Blue Ridge Area Food Bank. So, Josephine, I'm going to do a drum roll All as right, I sip so your ready. cider. Can cheers to this too? Yeah, we can oh, cheers yeah. to it. Cheers. Absolutely. How many meals, Josephine and everyone, were raised for the Blue Ridge Area Food Bank? 100,000 meals what? for the 231 Fest for the Blue Ridge 000. Food Bank. What? That's that crazy. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> 100,000. Yeah. That's so huge. So huge. Yeah. 100,000 meals? 100,000. Right on. What does that mean to you? It means everything. That's what it means. I mean, yeah, our goal was to, to increase, and we did it. So, yeah. you know, and we're helping people. Everyone who came out. Right. provided those meals so right. every single body there helped somebody else and that is huge viewers and listeners 100,000 meals raised for the 231 fest amazing work Jen Finasso says the owner of Sal's Cafe Italia right here in the downtown mall a phenomenal florist a fantastic photographer Jen we love when you watch the show 100,000 meals I know again 
I mean, Rob said it best. It means everything. And the food bank, especially right now, and I shared with you guys, I don't want to bring it down, but Rob uh, was so wonderful last time when I mentioned this, that you know, currently we are seeing and serving more people than we ever have in our history. So something like this is tremendous. What that means is we can make sure that we do have what we need, where we need it, when we need it for our community. And so, again, a big hat tip to you guys for making this happen. Right, and, and, and just adding on to that is that, you know, this time we provided one month worth of meals, almost one month. Next year we hope to provide one year. Yeah. So that's, that's our big ultimate goal, goal is, to, <laughs> is to give you guys enough so that we can support a whole year's worth of I meals. like that goal. Yes. <laughs> I mean, it takes us a few years to get there. No, no, I mean, <laughs> but if more people come out to the festival, yeah, so we, we'll feed more people. We have, so. big, we have big goals because we know that, um, that it's very important for the community overall. Um, put the hard work in perspective, guys. Like the, oh, the, the, my the goodness. Give us, the, give us the Easy. flip book of a festival, <laughs> if you know. Okay, so we'll just put it this way. The 231 Fest just ended on Saturday, and I already have 2024 um, prepared with vendors, and, and those conversations are starting. Um, it starts the, the day after the last festival ends, so it really is a 365-day effort. Um, there's a lot of communicating, a lot of you know explaining our story and what we're trying to do, and oh, lots of you know scheduling, and and we have a really small team at Castle Hill, so it is all hands on deck. <laughs> yeah, it is, and, you, and usually we don't do things like that. Usually we're all doing our separate things: cider making, you know, marketing. You know, to me with the internal events. I mean, there's all we're all doing our own thing. This is when we all come together to and show the greatness that uh, Castle Hill can bring to the table. Absolutely, and we have next year's date already. So oh, we, yeah, spill the beans, please. <laughs> Give us the tea. So save the date now, okay. June fifteenth, twenty twenty four. I'm literally going putting this in my phone to be the third <laughs> annual two thirty one fest. So okay. June fifteenth, twenty twenty four. Get it on your calendar now. Okay. We always try to improve every single year. If you went to our first annual festival, you know that we have completely out well I mean patting ourselves on the back here but we have outdone ourselves in terms of growth of what there is to do at the at the festival and we're going to continue doing that so if you thought this year was great just buckle up <laughs> yeah, you don't need to pat yourself because I will I will do it I mean the first year you pulled off it, it was the very first one we had no idea right and you're always testing things and you pulled off an amazing event Thank then you. this year Truly, I mean, you saw, you, we felt it, you heard it, everyone to a person, as you were saying, we're going around talking, everybody had a smile on their face. You couldn't help but ha have a smile on your face. It was fantastic. Right, and, and you know, both our team and also, I mean, our, we had we had great people supporting us as our well. Our sponsors were incredible. I mean, the sponsors were great. The Charlottesville Radio Group, Seville, uh, who's on. Who's oh, yeah. On. I mean, we also had NBC 29. Mm -hmm. Ally Concrete, Bank I of America. I love Seville. Thank you. Mary Gold, John George. Yeah. I mean, the list is endless. Malloy, right. Malloy, yeah. absolutely. It just, it just kept going and going. But, I mean, the media presence that we had this year was was overwhelming. And yes. I think that, you know, that, that goes a lot to MJ's and your hard work in terms of how we put the message out there. We'll give so. props to MJ, the queen MJ, of marketing. Yes. She's in the studio right now. I could not right do now. this without MJ. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, MJ spends so many tireless night, nights with me sending voice memos back and right. forth she is a mother she has children i do not you know but she really puts all of her effort into this and so like i know she's always behind the camera but shout out to mj she's she's been amazing I, you know what i'm process. sure i'm gonna say this we're in this business but i'm gonna hype mj anyway mj <laughs> arquette is one of the best marketers and branders i know any small business or medium-sized business or a large business that needs to work along someone that legitimately is top of her craft MJ Arquette, I cannot recommend what she is doing enough. I would love to know the plans of how you guys can make this even better for next year. Because this is the guy right here. This is a big picture guy right here. Talk to us. Well, I mean, I, I try. <laughs> <laughs> I try to. I try to dream big, and then then they also bring me back to reality. But you know, it's it's a team effort. So Josephine comes with ideas, MJ, and we all just keep throwing out ideas until we're like. Yeah, we could actually do that because some of the ideas we have are like, you They're know. very big. Yeah. Hot helicopter rides. Uh, hot <laughs> air balloons. I mean, like, we have, we have big ideas, but it's just if we can pull it off. Because, you know, at the end of the day, we want to uh, pull off something that is amazing. And we don't want to do something that's second rate. So we want to make sure that we can definitely execute against it. The, the coolest thing, that, one of the coolest things about the festival this year was Orvis. Yeah, I mean, fly fishing. I mean, they were I there. They were there last year. I think a, a big thing 
they weren't doing. They didn't do fly fishing last year at two thirty one. Oh, that was um, a different one. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. but um, that was that was awesome to have that interactive experience. So I think for next year's two thirty one, we're really looking at adding those wow factor experiences that you can sign up for. Um, you know, hot air balloons is something we play around with, but tethered hot air balloons are totally doable. So something that we're looking into, but kind of those those photo, you know, those photo moments, those memory moments. Um, I always say that's my favorite part about putting on a festival is you're literally creating these memories for people that they'll have for a lifetime, you know? So, yeah, more experiences yeah. that are very interactive that you can sign up and do. That's something that we're going to really focus on next year. I mean, awesome. I mean, the kids area we had this year was, was phenomenal. I mean, mm-hmm. it's between oh. the face painting, the arm paint, whatever they were, all the But we're going to up that, too. We're going to up everything. I mean, yeah. yeah so yeah. next year we'll look at maybe some henna, some, uh, some, some, Spray on tattoos. I mean, it's just the options are endless. Yes. Our, our son Trey had the Batman um, face paint on. <laughs> yes, he legitimately wore the Batman and legitimately thought he was Bruce Wayne all over the <laughs> palatial <laughs> Castle Hill estate. He has he, the biggest personality. He, he does. I wonder where he gets that from. I have no idea. <laughs> he gets in our car. We head home. Refuses to take a bath that night because he wants his <laughs> Batman mask on. The next morning, the little bit of the mask gets smeared off in his on his bed so on his pillow. My wife literally said all right go to bed we'll just watch the pillow sheets the next day and he woke up in the mirror and it was still on and legitimately he goes watch this dad and he puts his arms up like he's a cape like he has a cape yeah. on and runs down the stairs and over the living Iconic. room the 231 <laughs> fest the next morning made our five-year-old feel literally on top of the uh, oh. top of the mountain I can't emphasize as a father, and my wife would say the same thing, how happy we get seeing our little boys being happy. Yes. Um, and that Love was that. 231 Fest in a, in a microcosm. I saw you all over the festival mm-hmm. as well. We had Marigold Tuna Tartare. Oh, oh yes. That Literally was the best charcuterie oh, well. board I've ever seen in my life. Is that not gorgeous? Yes. That was Put beautiful. it in perspective. Uh, well... So, you know, as we said, and they do a beautiful job. I think everybody has a wonderful experience, but definitely they're elevating it for our VIP guests. And the tuna tartare, if you did oh not gosh, get to take a hello, In the that was... Yeah. Uh, oh, everything. Yeah. Um, and the beautiful cocktails that were made with the cider, it, it, truly wonderful. But I, I have to, if I may, go back. A, a, I want to take a step back, and we were talking about... Um, how you, Jerry, and how Siva Weekly, Charlottesville Radio Group, NBC, and everyone that helped spread the message, you know, 100,000 meals, incredibly impressive, but also the fact that you're helping us raise awareness too, the value of that is immeasurable. Uh, We've learned recently that uh, 80% of our guests hear about the food bank and the services that are available to them, word of mouth. So every time that we tell our story and put that message out there, we don't know whose ears it's going to land on. And if it's somebody that needs help, I say please reach out, go to brafb.org, our website, go to our food finder, and get the help that you need. But every time you help to elevate it, so a hat tip to you and to all of our amazing sponsors. Thank you. Um, And put this in perspective, the importance of having the brand on the front lines as much as possible. Right. Well, because unfortunately... We know, even though we're serving over, you know, 154,000 people a month currently, there are too many people that still need the service that aren't getting it, aren't reaching out, whether it's because they don't know about us or they, there's a um, misunderstanding about what's available to them or if it's available to them. And so having the brand out there, getting those questions out there for people to ask and to be answered, that is key, absolutely key. Uh, Mariah Rogers, hello. Welcome to the program. She's giving you guys some props. I believe that's team member, right? Yeah. Missy yeah. Snelling, hello. Welcome oh. to the show. I see um, one of the TV reporters at NBC29 on the show. NBC29, nice. I would interview Josephine and Rob. And <laughs> <laughs> they got a fantastic positive story to tell here. All right, so Castle Hill, Josephine and Rob, what do we have cooking? Because you guys always have something cooking. <laughs> you always got Woo! something in the hopper here. I know the two thirds. I literally have it on my calendar. I see it right here. June 15th, 2024. Mm-hmm. It lets me set an alert. I'm just going to go <laughs> ahead and set the alert for six months. And then here's the other alert <laughs> for 48 go. hours beforehand. Yeah. Great. Okay, so my alert is set. Uh, what else you guys got I in mean, the hopper? We, we have a lot. I would say go to our website, okay. um, castlehillcider.com. Go look at our calendar. Um, even in 
just lasting on 231 if you want to be a vendor next year if you're interested in being a sponsor or just being involved in any way we are going to be uploading a forum there that you can get involved the earlier the better and uh yeah we'd love that but besides that all of our other events are located oh, there you guys are going talking that. about philanthropy and how we love it at castle hill we do have something for uh saint jude's coming up um and that is going to be uh july 21st, july 21st. it's going to be christmas in july um so santa will be there um a fire truck will be there vendors music i mean we're doing it all, all over again in a different way it will be cider there um served but that's that's really fun and that's philanthropic so definitely check that out um that's with, that's with tom morgan at yeah CYK. At, yep at cyk um 99 7 99.7 yep. yep. i'm still i'm new here you got still, it right so. <laughs> you literally got it right still working on my my local my local stuff but um and yeah then, and then in august we have a croquet for Curve with cool. for cystic fibrosis. Mm-hmm. That'll be a, a team event. Okay, and we're still we're still working on all the details. I played croquet at two thirty one. There you go. My uh, our son and I did. So and will you also, join our team for I, croquet for us? Yeah, so, <laughs> it's, so it's, I'm in. It's August. Oh no! Look on our website. He, okay. Oh no! <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go to the website. <laughs> There we but go. You guys, August nineteenth. There we go. You guys have things MJ. all the time, don't you? You've got music on Thursday nights. You, yeah, I mean, just I come out for a tasting. I mean, our our cider range is very huge. We have something for everyone, whether you're a wine yeah, drinker, gold, gold medal winner. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ch- let's champion that. Yeah, yeah. can we this get is, the bottle, uh, Rob? If you want to hold it, put it on camera. So this is there serendipity. It did win gold in the Governor's Cup, which is one of our biggest wine competitions in Virginia. So we're really proud of it. It's like biting, it's our Goldilocks. Biting into a cider apple, it's apple it's light, it's a little bit sweet, but not overly sweet. I love it. How about um, what's on the calendar for Blue Ridge Area Food Bank? Woo! Toughest uh, question I'm asking you right here. Yeah, <laughs> so, I mean, again, we also have an events calendar, and there are many different events that are benefiting the food bank, and uh, so grateful to all of them. Uh, really, we're getting ready for... Um, a new we're on a fiscal year so we're getting ready for a new year and we're also looking at a new strategic plan where we're really centering our guests um, and looking at the ways that we can better serve them so we'll be unveiling some of those things soon um, this has come in I've been hyping 231 across this network pretty much all year Love that. Um, <laughs> I uh, I see this emerging quarter I said anyone that's in entrepreneurial Start buying houses around 231 because I think Josephine <laughs> and Rob are going to make this like 151 in Nelson County. And 151 in Nelson County 20 years ago, no one knew about it. Right. Now it legitimately is an East Coast tourist uh, attraction and destination. So Rob and Josephine, how are we molding your team, your partners? Patch is a good example. Patch Great is having example. a festival yeah. yes. this weekend. Yep. How are you guys taking this 230, 231 brand and amplifying it? I mean, there's so much to do in in 231 already that a lot of people don't know about and so we've all partnered together i mean 231 fest is for it's for the food bank but uh, group 231 and we we've all come together and and rob's rob's the lead on that but um we've all come together and we highlight each other's businesses we try to push out all the marketing and let people know come on over there's so much to do there's restaurants there's beautiful shops there's breweries cideries wineries i mean it's a whole experience over there and it's 20 minutes from charlottesville yeah yeah, and, and the big thing is, is that before there was like one or two destinations over on 231. Now you can go spend a day, you can spend a weekend. Yeah. I mean, yeah, breakfast, lunch, and dinner apps, yeah. you know, you can... Yes, there's, I mean, the big thing that's changed is, uh, you know, number of venues plus the number of food outlets as well. Because yeah. before it was like, well, where do you go? And now you can literally stay over there for, you know, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah, absolutely. And you're not going to miss, you're not going to miss a meal. Here's the next partnership we should do, and we're doing it live on air. We're mm. helping manage the brand of the Clifton. Oh, okay. I love Which the Clifton. Right down the road. Yeah. They're guys. part of the 231 group. Yeah. 231 group. Yes. And guess what they've asked us to do? Okay. Form strategic partnerships with other folks on 231. I and love that. That's serendipitous yes. right here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. Yes. Okay, so how... And we'll you talk need about, a beneficiary. We are go. happy to be a part of that, too. We thought about that, too. <laughs> we thought about that, too. So maybe something percolating in the works. I think this is legitimately the first time Josephine and Rob are hearing about this. But, but I love the Clinton, Clifton, so yeah, I'm in. This was literally um, bestowed upon us by ownership late last week. Okay. I could not wait to do this. We'll do a little email intro and make it happen. Um, All right. Throw this to you here. The the emergence not only of 231, but how the community has rallied around this quarter. And like Josephine has said, so close to Epicenter of Charlottesville. 
20 minutes away, not even 20 minutes. I can get from my house, which is right in your neck of the woods, to downtown Charlottesville in like 17 minutes. Yes. I mean, legitimately, it's very close. Talk to us about partners you want to celebrate and how we can take this to another level, Rob. Well, I mean, I think the I think the big deal is is that we have even more partners coming on. And online. innovation. I mean, the yeah. innovation over in you know in two thirty on Route two thirty one is crazy. I mean, there the live music and the activities to do at these wineries and cideries and breweries. I mean, Keswick Vineyards has got a putt putt course. Exactly. I mean, they you do. talk about yeah. innovation. There yeah. it is, right? Oh, yeah. Yes. You know, you have, Alan you have Cindy. Yeah. Mar- Mary Mill down the road. When you yeah. go in there, it is. I mean, so eclectic, and it's like being in a uh, a gallery. Yeah. I mean, right. beautiful art pieces. Yeah. Staff's wonderful. They always have music. They have um, art festivals. So everyone's keeping things exciting and really innovative over there, and that's. That's what I personally would drive out to. I live out there, so I'm very close. But um, I would drive out there just because it's not just a winery. It's right. not just a, a restaurant. It's not just you're getting like four experiences in one, no matter where you go. So I always say check everyone's calendar before you go out there because there's a lot more happening than just the spot. Yeah, and in terms of innovation, you have Southwest Mountains is opening up in. Uh, we think sometime in the fall. I'm, yeah. I'm, I think What's that? It's South a new winery that's going to be opening really? right Dude, down I the road. I didn't even know about this. What is, well, well, we, we, really... we won't spill too many okay. beans, okay. but it, it's it's coming. And There's it's... a new winery. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So so just uh, just right right next to the Sismont store. Yep. Right behind there. Yeah. The, uh, the the store that has a deli that's a gas station. Is that the one? It's, a 20, yeah, yeah, it's where it 22 a and 231 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. there. So you're going to have, you know, well, I guess it goes Southwest Mountains, Mary Mill, Castle Hill, Keswick. Patch, Keswick. or Keswick, Keswick, Castle Hill, Patch. So, what, five minutes, five minutes, five minutes, five yeah, minutes, yeah. five minutes, seven minutes. And then Gordonsville minutes. is booming. Crazy. Right. And then the, yeah. next, the next thing is, is you have Thistle Rock opening up. That's right. Which is a meadery they're opening up. That'll be kind of the, the start point of 231. And then it'll run all the way up to Madison, up to Early Mountain. So, I mean, there's tons to do along. Great wine, yeah. great cider, great beer. And great views. And great meadery, and yeah. Great views. Yes. That's absolutely amazing. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. amazing. 100,000 meals raised. 100,000 meals feeds a lot of people. Mm-hmm. Um, and Rob has made a commitment to 1 million meals, evidently. <laughs> okay, not next year, though. I mean, I hope so. Listen, if we can do that, that's awesome. But our, our goal is just to keep growing. Next year. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I absolutely <laughs> love his ambition. All right, my friends, anything else you want to highlight? Anything else we should champion here on the program? We're, the people. Which, yeah. Just the people. Thank Please. you to everyone. Yeah, that's what I, I want to say. I mean, for everyone showing up, right. again, if you bought a general admission ticket to 231, you provided 64 meals out of that 100,000. If you brought uh, bought a VIP ticket and you came to 231, you provided 114 meals out of that 100,000. So we literally could not do it without you. And we hope to see you next year and bring all your friends. But yes. yeah, applause, like, applaud to the people, honestly. Oh, I the applause yeah, right here. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Rob, the show is yours, my friend. No, I, I mean, for me, you know, my children know what I do. I mean, they know that I work at a cider. They think, you know, basically that I drink uh, cider all day. I think, you know, because oh, no. that, that's, that, that's what children do. They don't really know what you do at work. True. But true. this is something tangible that I can actually uh, show them and say, this is, what, this is really what we're doing. We're, we're reaching out to the community. We're helping the community. It's not just, about the, not just about the dollars, which is very important, but it's also about how we help our neighbors. And, I mean, that is the example I want to set for my own daughters uh, to carry forth uh, with them, and this is a perfect example of uh, something that does that. So it was it was huge for me. Any uh, closing thoughts, Millie? You know, I, I'm going to echo a little bit of of what Josephine said. You know, I get <laughs> qu- asked this question all the time. I'm just one person. How can I make a difference? You know, the need is so great, but it is. It's one step at a time. It is one person, one meal at a time. So coming out and participating in events such as two, 231 Fest. You can you can do that, have fun, be in a beautiful area, but make a difference in your community. Just take that one step. I love it. I love it. I love the, um, what's it called? It's conscious capitalism yeah. or a social entrepreneur. Someone committed, a brand, a business, an individual, a group of people committed to leaving their footprint in a better place than when they right. first arrived and doing it in a way that keeps people in jobs, um, earning paychecks, 
gets vendors driving revenue on days when they may not have businesses, gets bands, gigs, and checks to play music, which mm -hmm. they love doing. Mm -hmm. Folks like Bald, was it Bald Top Brewery? That was, yeah. 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 That was literally the first time I had been touched by that brand. Was at your festival? Yeah, yes. they're, they're, they're amazing. It was amazing. Yeah. Great, it's in yeah. Madison. Yeah. Yeah. I, I never would have found out about Bald Top if it was not for the 231 Festival. And now my wife and I and our two sons are going to make a trip to Bald Top. That's because cool. evidently the beer, uh, the beer is uh, uh, fantastic, but evidently the view is ridiculous. Oh, it is. You've been there? I, I picked up the beer for the Okay, festival. there you go. And it was, go. it was amazing. Like, I literally would not have known about this if it wasn't for the 231 Fest, and now we're going to go. Yes. It's that's that's the huge thing yeah. about these festivals is that instead of, you know, spending one to two to maybe even three days trying to hit all 11 places, I mean, that's really tough to do, and yeah. don't do that because you can drive safe <laughs> doing all of that, you know. Um, but Free no, driver. Yeah, but, but you can come to the festival and have these uh, small tastings. tastings from everyone in one location. So, you know, you save on gas, you save on time. It's environmental. And again, you're doing it for a cause, yeah. Right. So You're changing right. the world. I love you guys. 100,000 meals Woo. raised through a festival. Thank you to Castle Hill. Thank you to Blue Ridge Area Food Bank. Thank you to MJ, Josephine, her family, Rob, all the vendors, all the bands, everyone. This was a smash success. And guys, if you don't put it on your calendar right now, I'm going to yell at you. It's June 15th, 2024. I literally have it marked with a six-month alert and a 48-hour <laughs> alert. We will be there and smiling. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so you much for having thank us again. We sincerely you. love you guys. Thank you. You guys are yeah. the best. J-Dubs, if you want to go on a one-shot now, I'll get a couple items out of the notebook here. Um, guys, tomorrow, Friday... At 10.15 a.m. with Real Talk, Mayor Lloyd Snook is in the house. He is right down the hall uh, with his law firm. He will join us at 10.15 a.m. We believe Bob Fenwick will join us on Real Talk as well. Uh, Mayor Snook running for re-election. Bob Fenwick running for council. Um, that's tomorrow at 10.15 a.m. on Real Talk on this network. The 12.30 show, I Love Seville show, tomorrow, we're going to highlight some of the storylines that we've covered all week long, including a couple of new business development storylines that we want to pass along to you. We've also got a tremendous amount of feedback on the um, SOL and the... Um, the uh, comparisons we've been doing with some of the data that has recently come out and the bellwether report that is getting some traction on social media. So we continue to do what we're committed to doing and that's highlighting local content across social media that is ubiquitous and in our hands literally every single day. It's the whole concept of the show. Thank you kindly for joining us on the I Love Seville show on a Thursday. For Josephine, Rob, Millie, Judah, I'm Jerry Miller. Take care.